Good day to everybody. Here I'm sharing a painting with you that I did back sometime around 2011, 2012. It was a particularly good time for me. <clears throat> it's an imaginary portrait, a composition, and I, I'm very fond of this painting. It's, I'm, I'm hitting a very pure note here from my own viewpoint. Uh, very direct. And uh, it brings across some interesting psychological nuance in the expression of the medium. Let's look at it a bit closer. So here you have an imaginary portrait. It's a spirit image of some kind coming through. Here you have the yellow orange brush strokes, yellow brush strokes, and over top of them, here's this gray that I decided afterwards was a good uh, balance or a good uh, way to mute those colors and also to bring across the, the kind of gray, blue, blacks that are over here in, these, in, the, in this panel. Anyway, see how that draws them over a bit. That, and uh, it's all very directly expressed. So the, the idea is to enjoy the abstract qualities of the painting and the directness with which it's put down. So it becomes a performance like a, like a musician would hit a note. You see the process. In music, you hear it. You, don't, you can't erase a note once it's played. You know, somebody who's improvising is, is just moving it, along with the rhythm and the tonalities and his own understanding of color and harmony, tonality and harmony. And that's what I'm doing as a painter. And I really enjoy this composition. You have the circle, the tabletop, going out off frame and then you have the circle of the dish echoing that on frame and you can see the abstract qualities of brush and color and that directness as it's put down that is primary a la prima kind of uh, performance there and then the decision here to like have these brush strokes go horizontally now, this is a wood panel, 24 inches by 30 inches. But this, I mean, it just kind of, uh, having that go horizontally and having the sky or this blue panel in the background go vertically, I think is, uh, it becomes, I, I did that without really a conscious consideration other than just the joy I was having painting and rhythmically. And of course, the tabletop doesn't have any of that. The, the brush strokes on the tabletop are a lot more, less organized and much more, you know, just allowed to be. But still the tabletop, the tonalities move from the lighter tones to the, to the darker tones. And I, I allow, I draw these, this gray line in to draw the objects and I let it there as a, as a note in the composition. So you see the whole process. And it's supposed to, well, it's the music of painting in terms of the 21st century understanding, surreal understanding of the medium. It's a visionary thing. Initially, it, to the untrained eye, it looks rough, unsophisticated. But as you begin to understand the language, it becomes very musical, very beautiful to look at. And uh, you can see the white spaces that come through that are, that's part of the ground of the surface. It has nothing to do with me painting it. And yet those rhythms are very important to the painting. That which isn't painted, you see what I mean? You're becoming one with the medium. I don't know if you can get a sense of what that means, but there you have it. 
And I like when I when I got back and just started looking at the painting. The this this area became like uh, like the Arctic seas to me. Not that that's important. It's still the abstract qualities of reality, the abstract nature of reality. But this became kind of like a sea, and this became the sky above the sea, and it's sort of Arctic uh, landscape, seascape. Very primal, very minimal, very simple. But as I like to say, simplicity demands our deepest attention in order to be appreciated. And, uh, and that's kind of what my work is about. And so, uh, I'm going to leave you there and uh, check out the links that are on YouTube below the, below the video. And uh, thanks for sh having a look with me. And you have a great day.